amigos. Oh, wait, was that terrible? Should I not be doing that? No, it's fine. There's a lot of no. It's fine. Uh, uh, it's it's fine. Up. Uh, yeah. Why am I upping? You're in you're in the background. You're very distant, very far away. Cody. I'm Cody, I see away. you back there on in the in the desert on your on your horse with no name. Hello? You, you shouldn't have to shout. I mean, hello. Am I far away still? <laughs> uh, this is a little better. Heck. Hello. Heckins. What the heckins? Hello. Are you going to do the thing? Hello, survivors. Hey. Welcome to Let's Die. Uh, the His vs. Her Guide to the Apocalypse. The podcast. It's po It sure do be a podcast that we're doing. Season here. 5. Revenant. Revenant. We oh, that should have done that last time with Chris Logan. Revenant. 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 Oh, well. Oh, man. Yeah, we brought that ish back from the dead. Mm -hmm. We survive in as a I Revenant. We're something, that's for sure. <laughs> How have you been, Cody? <laughs> uh, I've been better. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, to, to keep it brief uh we're pretty sure i have sleep apnea jeff was like yeah you don't breathe sometimes when you sleep and I was like, oh, That's geez not <laughs> yeah sometimes yeah your life is in peril while you're asleep i just you know he's like you'll just like stop breathing and then you'll have this like one huge like <gasps> like breath and uh coinciding with his observation of that uh i have been very tired lately um mm. even after a full night's sleep still want more sleep hmm my, so uh, I have a sleep study appointment next week. My partner sounds like if a plane crashed into a train, crashed mm -hmm. into the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, but the ocean instead of water was just a big pile of orphans and everybody screamed as a bomb exploded somewhere in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the earth uh, crumbled into space dust. That's how um, it started with me. So. Then a black hole appears, mm -hmm. sucks the pieces of the earth up, spits mm -hmm. it out of a white hole somewhere else in the universe uh, into mathematical impossibilities that we can't even begin to fathom. Is a white hole a real thing? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Theoretically. Oh. I don't think we've ever found one. Oh. I've just never heard of it. Googles! The Googles. Well, how have you been other than having a snorry partner? Nobody cares about that. We're talking about... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, a dog beat me up. It was it your dog? No, it was a, a just a happy little doggy. Um, she wrapped me up in her le like her. The neighbors were walking her, and her name her name is Willow, and she uh, was so happy to see me. She's happy to see everybody, but she's so strong, mm -hmm. very muscly dog, mm -hmm. and she wrapped me up in her leash, and somehow the metal clasp got stuck on my finger, and then pit pinched against my leg uh and then it gouged i don't oh, let's see if you can see you see that dot yeah. on my finger yeah so that's like a week removed like it's healing it was yeah so it's even though it's a small dot it's actually yeah. really really deep and it just took a chunk out of me and uh yeah it it sucked um dog injuries aside uh we're not here just, to talk about dogs today yeah just working working out walk starting to run it's been really pretty working on the lawn like an old man uh work's been annoying and terrible and i, I just want to be left alone to water my lawn like the old man that i am how do you know is if your so much... lawn is dead versus not awake yet uh mine is green so i don't know what you're talking about Frick. I have some brown spots from where I had Christmas inflatables. Okay. Uh, so that so I'm trying to regrow. Like I'm, I oversee. How do you do it? Uh, so I have a device that I push mm -hmm. along the ground that that tears, uh, makes like little holes. Uh, mm -hmm. So I aerate the lot, y the yard. Then I throw out grass seed. Uh, then I'll usually use a starter fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Then after like six weeks or something. I'll use a pre-crab grass. Wait, nobody gives a shit about this. Why am I talking about the way I treat my fucking lawn? Welcome to Let's know. Die, the the lawn podcast. The lawn. What do you keep podcast. your lawnmower setting at? Jesus, I can't believe you baited me, successfully baited me into talking about lawn care on this show. <laughs> I'm so mad. It's supposed to be a comedy show, damn it. You know what? 
Cody? You see these gloves that I'm wearing? Yeah. Oh, oh, he took them I off. I challenge oh, you to a duel. Oh, no. I slapped her right in her pretty little cheeks. They're no. they're bright red from the slips no, that I slept her with. Uh, we're Dead white. <laughs> what are we talking about this time? Uh, we're talking about the best movie of all time. How are we going to transition to this? This is the transition. We're talking about the best movie of all time. Uh, Puss in Boots. I don't know. Last wish. Uh, the last wish specifically. Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. So, so it's a sequel to the spinoff movie. No, wait. It's a wait. Is it a sequel? Yeah, it's a sequel to. How many of these movies are there? I was gonna say, isn't there three? I don't know. I didn't watch the other ones. I just watched this one. Puss in Boots from 2011. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then? And then? Enhance. Enhance. Uh, yes, the sequel is Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. So there's okay. two. Okay. Uh, do you remember what the first one was about? Nope. Nobody does. Nope. Um, I know that he meets Kitty Softpaws in the first one, but he does. other than that, I don't remember anything. Oh, by the way, just so you know, there's a television spinoff series for Netflix. So there's a spinoff series for the spinoff movie of another movie. Yeah, so Puss in Boots is from Shrek. Yeah, Puss in Boots from is from Shrek. Shrek. Shrek, the third? Is it the third one? I thought it was the second one. Uh, October 2006, the film was slated for a theatrical release... Uh, DreamWorks Animation realized that the Puss character deserved more with Shrek the Third director Miller joining the project. Um, so it might have been... Yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Because the second one is You're about correct. them Shrek going too. and meeting her family and then her dad's like, this guy sucks and he hires an assassin. This should just be a Shrek podcast. Shrek's super popular. No, let's just talk about it. Puss and Boots. Okay, in Shrek 2... Who played the popular character Gingerbread Man? How would I know that? What do you mean, how would you know that? You're how would the, anyone know that? You're the mega fan. No. Who plays Gingerbread Man? I don't know. I was hoping you would tell me. you had it in front of me. Look, no. I need you to I carry had, me. I Help. had a bunch of the other people up. So there. So in Shrek 2... It's Conrad. Conrad. Is, Conrad Werner. Shrek is Mike Myers. Well, yeah. Fiona's Cameron Diaz. Mm -hmm. Donkey is. Have they been in every movie or like Eddie I know it's be, been yeah. Michael Myers, but has it been uh, Cameron Diaz them, in every yeah. movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dad is John Cleese. She's, she's pretty well retired the mom uh, from Julie acting. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep listing characters. <laughs> Stop. We are not a movie. Well, we're not specifically a movie podcast, but we're definitely not going to be one of those ones that's like, here's a here's an itemized list of the production cast and and what Cameron Diaz ate that fifth day when it was really hot and how sh how she fared on the toilet that evening. Like we're not we're not we don't need to get in and all well, that. Well, let's get into the details of how we've watched this movie. How Gravity Falls times... is a Disney show that's about these two little kids visiting their uncle. How many times have you watched Puss in Boots: Last Wish? Three times. Three that's times. It? Two or three times. How many times in theaters? Joan Rivers was in Shrek too, by the way. Okay, okay. Puss Puss in Boots. Three. Yes. D. Yes. The Last Wish. Yes. How the many? Second one. Have you seen it in, in theaters? No, absolutely. Oh, you only watched it on because you bought it on the Amazons. No, I streamed it for free. Oh, yeah. Actually, no. I take it back. My mother, uh, hi mom. Uh, she hey, mom. bought. Uh, I think she bought it on Amazon and mm -hmm. just been taking advantage of that. Thanks, mom. Yeah. So, I had uh, been wanting to see it. I went and saw it on like the six dollar day theater. Like, go to the theater. Yeah, we don't have those. Whatever. Oh, whatever. We do go to a big city. Um, wow. It's usually, it's usually wow, you hear Tuesday. her geo-shaming me, folks. You heard it here Tuesday. first. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Brett, uh, just pack up all your whole fucking life and go someplace where you can do that thing. 
yeah just check yeah. your be, become privileged you know yeah, uh, yeah so i would I rather like... not live in a big city if i wanted to live in a big city i would have stayed in new orleans and been sweating my balls off every day yeah i mean i don't want to live in a big big city but state college is not a small city um um but yeah i went and saw it in the theaters and freaking loved it and then ended up buying it i've watched it two are times are there at are there home. four shrek movies yeah this is the sixth movie in the shrek in the universe. shrek shrek universe yeah but there the, the movie ends with a little bit of a like are they gonna go back to shrek again? like is there gonna be a shrek 5? i think that's just a nod because for the entire movie the only nod you get back to the shrek shrek averse is in cameo by Jinji. oh and you get a cameo by pinocchio too yeah but other than those two i can't think of anything else uh like even remotely tied to shrek other than puss himself yeah so this movie is basically about um, a swashbuckling cat fugitive from the law and a hero of San Ricardo who has lost eight of his nine lives. I'm going to right. talk like Antonio Banderas. You don't sound like Antonio Banderas. I'm like going that. to talk like that where you occasionally pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so he tries to go into retirement and then gets pulled back into it because of the possibility of the wishing star uh it's the star that you can wish upon and get a wish granted and he of course wants his nine lives back because correct people want to he's he's like about to die like because he's on his last life and a bounty hunter starts coming for him and he's like he okay. lost his nerve yeah and upon realizing he had one life left to live he packed it away Retired and became a lap cat. He tried. It was a weird part of the movie. Oh no, he he fully accepted it. At like it broke him. How long do you think it? He was in that situation because I don't think very long, right? Like because. Well, but when the bears go back to Del Mar, it looks like it's a freaking ruin. Yeah, that's true. I I I, I guess we're intended. To, well, and he has a beard now. Yeah. So, we How long would it take you to grow a beard like that? Oh, never, because I can't grow a beard like that. So, thanks okay. for... You see, you hear her genetic shaming me? <laughs> gene shaming. Geo and... Geo shaming and gene shaming. I can't believe you. You know, I got that Filipino pineapple blood, and it makes it to where just the hair... I just I just don't suffer from the curse that is body hair. Thank God. Um, like, even my legs. I'm a man, and... My legs There's... are probably hairier than yours are. Probably. Probably chest, too. They... Um, no, there's not much there. So My, ni my nips just got nothing there, man. Um, look. I don't remember where we that was going. Uh... But, so I guess, like, I don't. we don't really want to spoil the movie. I, I can... I'll send you a picture of me with a, with a nice beard. A decent, oh. <laughs> a respectable, respectable amount of scruff. I cannot grow it like, you know how like some dudes can grow it like off of their face, like it'd be like six inches or more, just hanging off their face. I yeah. can't do that. It conforms to the shape of my face by and large. But then, if you um, keep it going, it grows off their face. Off your I face. I guess, but it has like to be a long time, like four or five months, and it's like no progress. It has and to be longer gets... than that gross and scraggly and starts looking like, like pubes and it's just kind of like a fever on your face also i don't like i don't like beards i think they're gross like and i think crawled on your face and died of shame if i was a god one of the many horrors that i would inflict upon mankind would be to shave every man's face every man and woman's face no one should have a beard i mean no so... i don't care okay nope Okay. I, this is my god. This is my fictional god universe. Okay. And that's what you do. That's one of the things I would do. I'm a god. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, as many times as I want, however limited. I want. You're limited. You're gonna wake up like you're gonna be held down by invisible dementors, and they're gonna shave your face. Is that your one wish? No. Uh, no, I'm saying godlike <laughs> infinite power. What? Of course not. If it's my one wish. What's your one wish? Oh, I'd be immortal. Oof. Yeah. 
immortal if we could somehow wrap invulnerability into there too i want to watch the earth explode nah i would probably just want to not have to work so that i can <sighs> just read i've just been reading today if you're immortal you why do you have to work if you're immortal see but the problem with being immortal is that other people around you are not immortal and it's I mean, already sad it's the price that you have to pay it's a heavy price <laughs> And, and and what oh, form yeah. of immortality? Like if it we're doing genie wishes, maybe they turn me into a vampire, make it a curse, a backhanded immortality that I can spread to others, and then everyone lives happily ever after. Mm. Why are you shaking your head? No, <laughs> it's not. I just I don't know. I've never wanted to live like long, longer. Like oh no, me yeah life. yeah. If it's that like if you could have a superpower, what would be mine? Would be uh, immortality. Well, um, like, so would you... I understand it would be a hell and blah, blah, blah. And my loved ones would die, blah, blah, blah. I'm still picking it. What if your body still age, So. Oh, well, then that's a that's a no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because, like, then I would be a million years old, but just a bag of bones. Like, yeah. And not being able to, not like, dying. say nothing. Yeah, that's not yeah. that's not part of it. Dad, you gotta be specific with your wishes, my dude. You didn't t specify that I need to be specific, so I <laughs> caught you in your own trap there, Genie Jin. Yep. Um, if if I couldn't be immortal, I would choose pr either invulnerability or teleportation. Teleportation would be fucking sweet. There's mm -hmm. all, but you have the risk of that of just teleporting into a wall and just insta killing yourself, like yeah. because you thought you were going to Paris and you ended up teleporting to the bottom of the ocean and then getting crushed immediately. Yeah. But uh. What are, Puss in Boots. Yep, that's yeah. a show about Puss in Boots. I can't believe you baited me into talking about <laughs> superpowers somehow. Where I baited you? you into talking about your one wish because that is what I is. don't... I My one wish is that... Um, uh, hmm, my one wish... Okay, an easier question. Who's your favorite I got it. character? No, no, I got it. My one wish is that every man on Earth would have bare minimum seven inches and let me tell you why so many of mankind's problems stem from small pp syndrome like so many dudes gotta just prove themselves out here in the world because they just are so insecure with themselves i am just, solving toxic masculinity it in would just one go move and the we scale. could focus we could just focus on other things it would just move the scale fine how about Men this at seven inches would be i would wish the new bottom <laughs> i would wish for godlike power then how about that okay who's your favorite character uh i mean it's got to be the dog i love Perito. Perito. he's Perito. so good he is the best um my who's your least favorite character because i have a person for that uh i perito okay hold on so perito is probably the best character in the movie he's not the coolest character in the movie okay um the coolest character is is death correct by far yes it's death correct um death like when you first meet him he is just so cool. And he's, like, actually really terrifying. <laughs> he's he's horrifyingly scary. <laughs> even before you realize, even before the reveal comes up and, you and like, oh, he's not just a bounty hunter. He is death. Yeah. And literally no one escapes him. Yeah. Um, and they literally, he's so chilling. Like, for a kid's CGI, like a family-friendly CGI animated movie... They made a chilling incarnation of death, and he mm -hmm. is rad as hell. Mm -hmm. um, the like character every time I didn't you saw him like I felt like I felt my hair stand up on it. I was like, Ooh, like oh crap! Uh, from the from the moment he shows up in the pub there before Puss officially decides to retire and loses his nerve, right. uh, I'm like, wow, they really crafted a cool villain. He's got the double scythe. He has these just stunningly red like the red mm -hmm. itself just pops mm -hmm. um it's it's cool and uh the worst character like to your question is jack little jack horner like <laughs> big jack horner he, he's funny he's funny in his own dumb way but like uh 
His proportions are horrifying. I guess um, Goldilocks is probably the most just nothing character. Like, mm. she's just, uh, she's not particularly funny. Her story is not particularly interesting. Engaging, like, you kind of yeah. see where it's going, right? Like, it's a little bit predictable, and it's just kind of there. Like, they could have removed the three bears and Goldilocks entirely. Mm. And just had and just had Jack Horner just constantly on Puss in Boots' tail, and it would have been fine. I liked I liked Goldie I, and the what look, the bears. Brought. I don't dislike them. I'm saying that they were uh, expendable. <laughs> Bless <I> you. <laughs> Bless you. One more, and it's a curse. Oh man, I was getting excited. Um, yeah. So basically. Uh, Puss realizes that there's this magic star, fallen star, that he could get a wish and get his lives back. And him and Kitty Softpaws reunite because they're both after the same thing. And Perito, whom he meets in the in the cat retirement home, who is a just the most adorable little some kind of chubby chihuahua that's all beaten up, who has the saddest backstory of all time. Everyone being mean to him and just abandoning him and trying to kill him and like he just doesn't even realize it and uh, so happy all breaks my heart. Like because you know like a dog is probably like that in real life when people are being mean to it or want to do mm-hmm. something it's probably just like ha 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 ha. Um, doesn't Not know all dogs, but definitely like like he says that they try he tried his family tried to put him in a dumpster they tried yeah. to put him in. Like, all these different places, and he always found them. And so then, yeah. But he, they ended up finding a way to really escape yeah. him, I guess. Which is like, what? Which is so just sad. And his dream is to be a therapy dog. Uh, which is so heartwarming. It is. And number one scene in the movie, for me, Cody, is. But I'm going to tell you after you tell me yours. Mm. I talk too much. <sighs> That's really hard. Do you want me to just go ahead and go anyway? Yeah, yeah, you go, and then I'll. Uh, at a certain point, Puss almost. Uh, it, they're 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 hunting for the star through the woods. They're constantly running into the three bears and Goldilocks and Big Jack Horner, um, and fighting. No big deal. Uh, then during the kerfuffle, Puss gets a glimpse of of the bounty hunter Death. Uh, of course, he doesn't know it's Death yet, but the hair raises on him. He he panics. He runs away like a coward. And he's literally, he's in the midst of having an, a literal panic attack. Sound around him has become muffled. His, he's just not co op. He's like not mm-hmm. there. Like he's got that thousand yard stare. And Perito tries to talk to him and realizes that something is seriously wrong and just lays on his like lap. Yeah. He's puts and his little head on, puts his, his, little head on his lap. Mm-hmm. And then Puss starts petting him and then you like his breathing starts slowing down and then he start we start to the world comes back into focus and he's able to like breathe it's really like a cool it's a really good scene like mm-hmm. and and uh because it's like a real thing like ptsd and shit like that so yeah. people or not just ptsd but people that suffer from panic attacks and major anxiety yeah. um get you a dog is the moral of the story Get you a dog. Puss in Boots. The story, the moral of the story is get you a dog. Get a dog. Live your life like, yeah. uh, live your life like, uh, it's your only one and you get a dog. I did want to just go home and, and hug my dogs when I, mm-hmm. after watching it. Cody, oh, favorite it. scene? It's so hard. There's so many. The entry scene. It's so, so when hard. Ends up fighting the you sleeping giant of Del Mar. Bye. Oh uh, yeah, that's a really cool scene. Animated like, different the animation. too. All uh, of that animation. The giant is is he is he's got to be computer animated, but he for some reason he's just um looks different. I don't know. Yeah. It's the all the animation style is just beautiful. Um, so it's either that one or the pocket full of posies part where they learn to just like stop and slow down and like smell the roses, um, and then like they get through the that part of the like dark forest super easily mm-hmm. um and then and then when 
Jack Horner gets to the posies, he just mm-hmm. starts like throwing his men at it, and like his men just start dying, like, yeah, legit dying. And it's just like I love the cricket that he gets briefly. Yes, and he's like that's the thing. That that was the what glue, I was my gosh, at. the glorious phoenix. How, how, how's <laughs> my? Really is that pretty good? good? Impression. <laughs> hey, we got one. I can't do. I can't do puss in boots, but I can do. Oh, I can't do that cricket. <laughs> I'm yeah, conscious. So, You're an irredeemable monster. monster. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, Jack Horner has all this magical shit, and he mm-hmm. like takes out. He takes out uh, what he thinks he's like magical locust. Go defoliate, and he thinks that it's like a magic locust that's gonna like eat yeah, all those. But it's flowers. it's just Jiminy Cricket. It's, it's Jiminy Cricket, and yeah. so, like, basically, uh, I, no, I I judge you. <laughs> Judge the strength of your character. Yeah. And it's just like so, not what Jack Horner needs because he doesn't have a conscience. He doesn't have a soul. So ultimately, they're able to persevere. They're able to get to the star. But before they're able to use it, there's a final confrontation with, well, everybody, but especially death. Yeah. Um, and during this battle, uh, Puss realized what matters the most to him and realizes like, like he gets over it. He mm-hmm. he's no longer afraid of dying, and he just stands up to death when he, especially when he realizes who it is, uh, and death tries to intimidate him. Takes like some a few moments, and then just just gets just uh, what, what what's the word I'm looking for here? He gets uh, fed up. He despondent. He, I mean, yeah, he yeah, says that he came for. Uh, a cocky little legend who thought he was immortal and he's like and i don't see that guy anymore yeah yeah the puss sapped all the fun out of it and death was like i'll see you later amigo live your life gato live your life gato hasta la muerte um and ultimately we get some resolution with goldilocks and the three bears there they decide to just uh, fill the void by Jack Horner, I think it was, because Jack Horner, it, as the is gone, the ultimate yeah. big, the irredeemable big bad, he gets completely beaten, uh, and the Bears decide to just kind of fill that void that he leaves behind with their criminal enterprise. Mm-hmm. But as a happy, fa- like unified family, yeah. Um, and then what do what do they end up wishing for? I don't even remember. No, they just rip it apart. Oh, they don't even use it. And and we get a final scene of them, Rito and Puss and Kitty Softballs like sailing back into uh, far far away, far far away. So I do. Back I, five confirmed. I'm on. Well, I'm honestly fine if they don't make any more. But like I, 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 I'm I'm down. I think it'd be great. Yeah, they're they're always good, right? Like he, there's been six of these movies, and and the quality doesn't go down. But uh, hey, we need to take a quick break. When we come back. We will bring back our test subjects, Nicodemus Rex and Clayton, uh, and uh, we're going to do exactly what I said, right, Cody? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like how that I I. Uh, I was still looking up whether Shrek Five. It says Shrek Five's release date is May twentieth. This year. Yeah. Well, we kind of pulled the trigger on this a little early, didn't we? Well, look forward to the follow-up episode, <laughs> Shrek 5 in oh, May no. or March oh, no. or whatever. Wait, it is... What, I, I mean, yeah, We gotta take a break. <laughs> See you on the other side, folks. I'm always listening, and I watch into your dreams. Anyway, here's the test subject. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Die. We are in our our testing portion. Joining us again, once 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 again, is our is our our, exper- our experimental regulars, Clayton and Nicodemus Rex. Hey, uh, hey, bum, bum, Hello. Bum. Uh, <laughs> hang on a second, guys. Uh, Cody. Can I talk to you over here? You you have no audio. You're whispering into the microphone, but nothing's happening. 
nope still nothing wow uh so uh so i know you're hoarse of voice and you know you're just you've been really sick lately and you can <laughs> listen oh there you are hey uh so uh hey bad news um yeah. i forgot i forgot i forgot where nick is what do you mean we put him on ice i know i forgot where i put the body oh but we we took those samples though didn't we I, we did we did, uh, but I totally lost the original Nick. But, but, hear me out here. It's... I cloned him. Okay. And and the lab cat got in the in the mixer there, but I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. But... Did you, did you have, was the stopwatch still with him? No, we, we cloned Nick, not the stopwatch. That's not even a thing. But. You can't clone a stopwatch. But, like, he still had the that. Though. He so still what? Just, he still had that. Oh, you're just whispering in your your sickly voice. <laughs> <laughs> he still had the stopwatch, so like, is it? So he just doesn't have it anymore, right? I mean, the original Nick still has it. Okay, wherever the heck he is, I don't know where he's at. All I know is that he has not escaped. Is he gonna come back and like haunt us someday? I mean, he's not dead. Again, I can't stress this enough. He's not dead cody no, but like he's he just could lost. Have... i misplaced the body you I, left him with I, the stopwatch I, is I, the problem what you it goes through time not, you are the one that said he they should keep back. their items when they at the end of the experiment you know what let's just start the experiment mom pewter load the simulation i can't believe you made your mom a computer it's just so weird now she can live forever let him die Okay, you fellas wake up in uh, what appears to be a, a searing, blazing deserto. But first, before we begin, Clay, I need from you a dice roll. Fourteen. This is going to pay off, I promise. Do you need a dice <laughs> roll for Nick, too? I do. Oh, Lord. She went She went on an adventure. Going on a trip. Okay, okay, okay. What 16. was that number? 14. 16. No, I'm meant from her. Oh. Okay. Uh, Clay, you, are, you, you wake up, and you look around from your test tube, and you realize suddenly... <gasps> I'm a cat. I'm an anthropomorphic cat. What color is he? What color are you, Clay? I am. I am a orange tabby. Oh, Fantastic, perfect. You have a fluffy tail. Yes. Nick, oh, yeah. as you awaken <laughs> from your from uh, <laughs> everyone, it's going around Cody. Can you please <laughs> wear a mask in inside the room, okay? Uh. Nick, you realize that you are now in the body of either a violet green swallow or a crow, your choice. Well, apparently, I'm, I'm going to go with the crow because of reasons that I will explain only if you want to hear them. <laughs> is the reason that you don't know what a violet green swallow is? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's part of it, uh, being very small. Uh, but the other part is just that I've been watching Haiku, Haiku lately, and uh, they're team is the uh the crows so crows are red so you're an anthropomorphic crow now so uh, when you right. so when you say anthropomorphic so i'm like a khajiit almost no you are a cat sized anthropomorphic cat you are not a six foot five shredded <laughs> lion man that is not <laughs> what i mean at all so i am puss in boots i, I don't know about the bus part the boots part so I, I, I'm essentially puss the boots minus the boots. Got I don't it. know. We'll find out. Let's see. Cody, can you give me a roll for Nick, please? Six. You got to be kidding me. Uh, Clay, you can't help but notice when you look down at your feet that you're wearing a pair of rain boots. <laughs> Do they have rubber <laughs> duckies on them? Is this, uh, sure. Is the they have they rubber did? duckies on them. Uh, Nick, you look down and you realize that you're wearing pantaloons. <laughs> I stole these pantaloons. 
Um, do I ha- do I happen to have my katana in my map on me still? <laughs> uh, you do, but they're comparable size to your cat self. They are no. It's not like the size of. Okay, I, I was hoping they yeah. would shrink with me. Okay. <laughs> They did. <clears throat> Great. Uh, so you are puss in rain boots, and Nick, you are crow in pantaloons. <laughs> That's actually kind of badass. <laughs> crow in pant- pantaloons are cool. Bring them back, yeah. folks. We all know that fashion is cyclical. Let's do it. Uh, all right. Cody, I need one more. One more roll. Five. At double fives. Ooh. What does it mean? What does it mean? Do we need a different? Do we do we want it to be uh, different? As you both look, no, it can be the same. It's fine. Uh, let's just say you guys. I'm giving you guys way more agency than I normally do. You have uh, door number one or door number two. Door number one could be good. Could be okay. Maybe. Door number two? Huh? Maybe. What do you guys want to... Discuss amongst yourselves. Are we together? I will say that... Oh, yes, you've both... Upon looking about... Clay, you see a crow in pantaloons. And Nick, you see a puss in rain boots. With rubber duckies on them. Oh, no. With rubber duckies on them. Uh... Keep in mind, also, as per usual, your test pods have shattered into oblivion. There's not much, there's nothing usable around you. Uh, if you look around, you see nothing but desert. However, in one direction, you do see a tree line. Uh, what would you both like to do? First up, I'm going to point out, like, listen here, cat. I know that you're a cat and I'm a bird, but <laughs> we're going to have to declare some kind of truce here. Because I don't know what's going on. I'm guessing you're a test subject on these people, too, aren't you? Okay. I have no idea Uh, what you're talking about, buddy. I think uh, you should get yourself some decent mental uh, help. (laughs) An Intel Pentium 4 530, a single core processor, 128 megabits of RAM, with a 56K modem, and this is the best they can fucking do. (laughs) God damn it. Uh, (laughs) Before... You all don't hear this, but outside of, of the uh, experiment, I, I look over at Cody. And, is, is that right? Is that right? Yeah, he knows his, he I knows don't, his stuff. I, I don't even know what specs we're running. I'm not the tech guy. I'm the bodies guy. I've, I've said we need to improve our RAM, but you keep It's not spending, in the budget, Cody. You keep spending money on these things. <laughs> That you let them pantaloons. keep when they're done. <laughs> I do. Uh, Those pantaloons are fire. But, <laughs> but, but back to, Damn right. to puss and rain boots and crow and pantaloons. <laughs> Clay, okay. What would you like to do? All right. First of all, uh, first of all, before anything, I'm gonna look straight down to the ground. Do I happen to see an imitation? Do I happen to see an imitation spider fl- crawling around on the ground? <laughs> you don't see anything on the ground. Uh, however, the crow and pantaloons did is eyeing you suspiciously because you are a cat and and he is a bird. All right, I've done this shit several times already. Follow my lead. Loud? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've done this several times already. Follow my lead. We'll try to get out of this shit alive. I'll take your word for it, buddy. But if you try anything funny, I'm going to cut you. I'm the one okay. with the sword here. Ooh. Come on, you, you don't you don't know what I got. <laughs> Just I can I can have five swords. Uh, Clay, you can tell <laughs> at a glance that this crow with pantaloons has no swords. <laughs> they could be oh, in his wings. All right, know. gentlemen. Door number one or door number two. Door number one is your dice roll of five apiece, and door number two is something completely different. Uh, one or two? I'm gonna go with two because it's bigger than one. Fuck it, let's go two. <laughs> uh, at at Crow and Pantaloons, at your feet, you notice uh, there's a bottle. You're like, hmm. There appears to be a message in the bottle. What would you like to do? I will definitely pick that up because I assume a bottle is shiny, and crows <laughs> like things that are shiny. 
<laughs> well, the sun the sun is gleaming off of the glass, so you are correct. It is in fact <laughs> shining. So now you have a bottle, uh, which may or may not have anything in it. No meta gaming here. Clay, what would you like to do? Um, so we we went through door two, right? You didn't go through a literal door. This was a out of character door oh. that I had you all choose oh, yes. so that I can guide you. <laughs> that was legitimately a door. So I could guide you later. Yeah. Door of okay. What'd you find? Hey, I found this bottle here. I don't know if it's got any. Looks like it might have something in it. You can have the thing that's in it if you let me keep the bottle. Sure. Okay. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> take out. I take out the note. Hand the bottle uh, back. Clay, you successfully pop the cork that was on the bottle, and you remove the contents, which is in fact a note. Uh, when you read it, it reads as thus: Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, you're a cat and you're a bird. Ha 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 ha. This is what you get for crossing crossing me to de- to de- defeat your curse and become human again. You must take the egg and deliver it to its mother. To the mother hen. Yes, I made it rhyme. Yes. Uh suddenly a package out of nowhere as if by magic, appears before you both. It's a small box. What would you like to do with said box, Nick? Is it shiny? It's just a box, no. I'm mildly it, it, interested. If anything, it's gift-wrapped, but it's not particularly shiny, no. It's it's uh, okay. white with red polka dots. No, actually, I see that he has more stuff than me. I changed my mind. I'm interested now. I'm going <laughs> to check it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, do you, are you just looking at it, or are you picking it up, or? Uh, I kind of pick it up, and sure. I turn it. Okay. I want to see if it makes any noise. Uh, you I, do I, hear I... a, a thudding, re- like it, something is going thud, thud, thud inside of the box, for sure. That's probably an egg. I wouldn't shake it around too much. You said shake it around a bunch, what? I said that's probably an egg. I wouldn't shake it around too much. If you insist. <sighs> I'm I'm keeping this. <laughs> Clay, what would you like to do now? You now have uh your sword and your map and uh Crow and Pantaloons has a box with an object inside of it. All right, I'm going to pull out the map and I'm going to look at the map. <clears throat> you see nothing but desert on one end and nothing but forest on another. All right, is there anything that looks like a nest or like is there a thing that says mother hen here? <laughs> uh no, um just the forest basically, yeah. Okay. Uh, but you do see that a lo- amongst the forest there are a few bodies of water. All right, I say we go towards the forest. Okay. Nick um, Pardon me, crow with pantaloons. <laughs> uh, the, the crow eyes him suspiciously uh, and is like, well, I ain't got any better ideas. Okay. Uh, you both walk for some time. Uh, it's not too terribly far into the distance, but it is It is notably just a searing hot. What um, happens if I try to fly? I don't know. Do you want to try to fly? Of course, I'm a I'm a bird. Why am I not flying? Walking is for chumps. Okay, uh, are you going to be simulation? carrying that 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 gift box you got? Are you going to be carrying that in your clutches? I assume. Uh, that would, yes, that would grab it with my crow feet. I rolled for him. Uh, go ahead, Cody. This is for something else. Oh, um, yeah, you can fly. Not like you're not like a. A master airman or anything <laughs> like that, but you can get the job done. All right, so I, 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 I fly instead of walking until it becomes apparent that uh, I'm not any good at it or something like that. Uh, you'll notice. So while you're up there flying about uh, above uh, Puss and Rain Boots, you notice that in the direction of the forest, in the air. It's like 
a sheen like it's almost magical in nature like uh it's definitely not normal but you also aren't sure if it's just like an effect of it being so hot on the desert end of things which is where you guys currently are uh puss in rain boots uh you're walking towards the forest um you would notice that at the closer you get to it the map seems to get like almost wavy like not the physical paper itself but the contents that are on the map it's starting to uh not dance around but you know the like un undulate yeah, yeah just okay, like it's slightly but you again you don't know if it's because the map is doing this or if it's just so hot that your vision is starting to waver upon the yeah, it's getting hot. We need to get the hell. We need to get the hell into some shade and get some water. Okay. We're, we are yeah. still heading for the forest, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is too hot in this first in this fur in this fur uh, in this fur outfit. Cody, give me a number. <laughs> Nineteen. Okay. Uh, go ahead and draw a gift card there. Uh, you both finally. Uh, after a few hours, you do come to the tree line. Um, Cody? <laughs> Sentient spoon that wants to be in your mouth. Hello! You hear the <laughs> voice come from the tree line. Hello, travelers! And you see what appears to be a sentient spoon. Oh, is it shiny? Oh, it's a spoon. It's shining in the sun. Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Crow and pantaloons, what would you like to do? I, I approach the spoon. Okay. Oh, hi nice. there, mister! My name's Spoonie, and I'm a spoon, and I'm here to help guide you through the magical woods. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. Hey, what's that you got there? He points at your mysterious box. It's it's a box. It has a surprise inside. Oh, what's the surprise? If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise then, would it? You, you don't know, do you? Hey, Cat, what are you, you got any ideas about what we should be doing right now? Yeah, we should be finding Mother Hen. Oh, hey, my name is Spoonie. I'm a spoon. What's yours? My name is Clayton. Oh, wow. Hey, you, Crow and Pantaloons. What's your name? My name is... Uh, my name is unimportant. <laughs> you can call me Pal. Oh, okay. The band on your ankle says Clone 1A, but I'm sure that's nothing, right? No, that, that ain't a name you give to nobody. It's probably French, like Clone A. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, like, what are you guys doing? Are you following Spoonie or, or what? Hey, well, I'm, well, I guess you should ask, hey, listen up, my little spoon friend here, Spoonie, my man, my pal, amigo. Hey, you, wouldn't happen to know, you I wouldn't happen to know of any, uh, mother hens who are missing any eggs now, would you? Hens? No, uh, not so much. I, I know of a queen who's missing her egg. That worked. Yeah? Why? Yep. Where's this queen? She's deep in the in the deadly, mysterious, magical wood. Alright, let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Not, not even gonna <laughs> not even gonna second guess the, the, the deadly or magical part. Not none of that. I'm a talking fucking walking spoon and <laughs> No, this is par for the core, huh? Okay. At this po at this point in my go. life, yes. <laughs> come, no, come on, man. Let's go. No, no more questions. Uh, hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> it's off into the woods we go. Uh, Paul uh, pulls out sword. At this point, I'm ready for fucking anything. <laughs> uh, Nick. Yes. Are you on? Pardon me, crow with pantaloons. Are you on foot or are you trying to fly through the trees? I am not going to try to fly through the trees. Okay. Cody, can you give me a roll, please? My character is like, fuck this shit. Now, well. I might 
fly with some branches now and then, like, look ahead and see if I see anything, but... Okay. Uh, give me one more roll, Cody. 19. Oh, gift card. Please. Uh, Crow of Pantaloons, you occasionally uh, dart from branch to branch, uh, but for the most part, you're on foot. Uh, while you're up in one of the trees, you do notice something a bit odd, and it is a... Who is this for? This is for Nick. Nick, pick a card. Crow with pantaloons, pick a card. It's just not natural. CIP? Oh, wait. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, pick, pick, one a, cards. Pick, pick one of those cards there. That C, I, or P? On. I'm going to go with I. C, no. Uh, You're insane crow. You insane crow in pantaloons. <laughs> I, C, I, P. <laughs> okay. All right. I pick. A, we'll a, go, do, do I need to give you a number or no? Just, no, it's what color? She's holding up three cards for you, us YouTube viewers, uh, and she's oh. wanting you to pick uh, the left oh, one, the right one, or the middle one. I am not at. I don't have my screen in front of me. <laughs> okay, you you, you you want me to pick for you? Uh, yeah, go for it. We'll pick the middle one because it matches the box he's carrying. Okay. You know what? It does. Very eagle-eyed. It, it matches exactly the box you're carrying. Half a heart. <laughs> All right. Hey. Uh, hey. This, if this were actual D&D, you guys would get a, con a temporary, uh, some temporary health. Uh, that's basically what that is. I will keep that in mind. You're going to need it. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the odd thing you see, uh, Crow and <clears throat> Pantaloons, is literally like a glass heart that's just kind of hanging from a tree branch. You grab it, it is very shiny, and you d decide to hold on to it. Um, Puss oh, and yeah, Rain I mean, it's Boots. shiny, of course. Yes. You've come up to what is essentially a, uh, a wall, and Spoonie has come to a stop, and... Uh, it's not a very tall wall. In fact, you could probably, being a cat and all, you could probably jump several feet up and, and get to the top of it. Mm -hmm. But Spoonie has stopped. Why'd you stop? Oh, there's a wall. What's on the other side of this wall, do you know? I'm like, you know, I'm like six inches tall, right? I'm a spoon. <laughs> What's on the other side of the wall, do you know? Did you just hear something? It sounded like God sneezing? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. What's Anyways. on the other side of the wall? Yeah, do you know? I mean, kind of. Like, what do you, like, uh, hmm. hang on a second. Spoonie's being very cagey. Oh, death card. Uh, Cody, what is it that Spoonie is about to tell? Puss in rain boots. Is about. Oh no! Um, <laughs> about God. to tell them that they've come across a bo uh, a broken generator. There's a broken generator just on the other side here, and in order to get past the first trial of the enchanted wood, you have to repair it. But got a generator. But, but before you do that, can you like you know give me a hand? This wall's like five feet all tall, and I'm like six inches tall. For you, yeah. it's nothing. For me, it's like a fucking mountain. Yeah, I can do that. Picks them Thank up, tosses them over the wall. First, first sees the gymnastics over the wall. Spoony <laughs> cries out in surprise, and you hear the clatter of a spoon against the the rocks on the other end. Uh, what it, what what would you like to do, Crow and Pantaloons? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly up to the top of the wall and see okay. if see what happened to our uh, our our buddy down there. He's fine. He he dusts himself off, but he's cussing under his breath at at Puss and Rain Boots for being kind of a kind of a jerk to him. <laughs> um, you while you're up there, you do see the broken generator. The lights atop it's uh, uh, mounted on top of it are like slowly fading in and out, as though the power is irregular. Um, you see various panels open with wires and doodads and and and. Uh, canoeuvre valves and things and with which to turn and mess with. Do you know how to fix a generator? I sit on top of the wall with him. 
I'm an anthropomorphic crow. I don't know nothing about no generators. And I have no opposable thumbs. I think we're fucked. <laughs> oh, guys, it's really easy. Uh, Spoonie interjects, I'm just kind of too small to do it. You just kind of put your hands in the thing and start moving them around. Put your hands in the thing and start moving them around. All yeah, right, I'm you check know, it out. magic. Okay, I jump down. <laughs> I feel like that made things less clear, but we'll go with that. Uh, you both just kind of reach your hands in there, and s- suddenly the generator, which, by the way, it's a beefy generator. Hold the card up for the for test subjects here again, real quick. You can see here it's a V eight block. Uh, you start seeing the first <laughs> two pistons start to slowly move back and forth, and as you both kind of keep going, it. It, it they go faster and faster and then the next set of pistons start uh start moving suddenly you have a skill check and you succeed uh progress on the generator has continued uh there is now uh three pistons going one more set to go hmm The generator is fully repaired. It shing into life, and the lights blaring just like massive spotlights just light up the forest underbrush. Uh, and when this happens, you know, you see what was an invisible wall, but because of the light now refracting off of it, that's what you see and basically an invisible barrier, the shimmer of it, if you will. Well, it's not very invisible if we can see the shimmer of it. You did not see it until the light <laughs> coming from the generator. Now translucent. Uh, yeah, it, it's made it. How can I? It, like it, it looks like a, a like when you blow a bubble, not the clown, but I yeah. mean, the actual well, like, bubble. like 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 Halo, like like Halo invisibility. Sure, it's like a shimmer kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like what uh, Crow and Pantaloons, kind of like what you saw when you were flying above the forest. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I totally told him about. I meant to say that. But... Uh, yeah, we we're going to retcon that? Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, by the way, there's a shiver in the forest. I saw it earlier. I thought we should mention it. I guess this was it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What would, what would y'all like to do? Uh, so I guess we go through this force field. Can you are even you, go through a force uh, field? Are you chuck a rock gonna, at it? You oh okay. We can chuck a spoon at it. Are you chucking a rock or hey. are you chucking a spoon? You can't go throwing our pal Spoonie around. He's shiny. <laughs> I can't allow that. Fine, I'll chuck a stick at it. Hey, I really like you, Crow and Pantaloons. I just want to let you know I appreciate you. Uh, but fuck that other guy. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, expect from a cat anyway I guess that's fair <laughs> uh, the rock <laughs> passes through oh, I'm sorry the stick the stick that you threw passed through I'm sorry okay oh well that seems straightforward enough I will mention that when it passed through you no longer saw the stick Oh, so it might have just been deleted from the face of the earth. <laughs> uh, do you want to do you want to try it or do you want to try the spoon next? You know mm. what? I've been here before. I'm here to help you guys. So screw you. Come on, crow and pantaloons. Uh, spoon just flips you the bird, uh, puss in rain boots, <laughs> and he walks through the barrier, but you don't see him on the other end of it. Do I hear him? I mean, after he flips you off, he's not saying anything, but he walked He walked through the barrier. Okay. What Everything he... okay over there? You, you don't hear anything. Ah, screw it. Now you're on through. Okay. I ain't gonna sit around here all night. Fuck it. Get through. <laughs> all right. You both uh, trepidatiously enter the barrier. Uh... And on the other end of it, it's like a completely uh, different world. You are in this most this like storybook esque 
like village. The forest is gone. Um, you're in like a storybook esque village. Uh, there's the hustle and bustle of townsfolk all over the place, ripped straight from a Disney movie. Let's be honest. There's like a beautiful young lady singing with birds twirling about her. There's another beautiful young lady down the other end of the street. She's singing and she's got some rats like sewing a fucking dress for her or some shit. <laughs> You and see, there's the and there's the baker with it with, with his bread like always. Uh, <laughs> and I hope them rats are getting fairly paid for their labor. There's uh there's a <laughs> police force looking for the muffin man who lives on Strawberry Lane. Uh there you see uh, you see uh, a small stage belt where there's like a wooden puppet dancing around. Just all kinds of fancy fantastical shit. Uh Spoonie right next to you says Hey, uh, so stay close. Don't get too distracted. Uh, I mean, you guys were wanting to see the queen, right? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, don't get too close to anybody. Don't make eye contact. Don't talk to nobody. Don't do nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for an affirmative, but apparently fuck me, right? Like, it's just... It's, just look at me like I'm fucking crazy. Hey, you're the guide around here. I figure you what you say goes until That's it doesn't what I'm make saying. sense. I'm trouble. guiding you guys. Okay, come on. Uh, <laughs> Spoonie leads you down the street. As you do so, you see some coppers and they're slamming on doors looking for the muffin man. Muffin man, we know you're in there. Uh, uh, anything? No? Okay. Uh, yep. C Cody, can you give me a roll? Three. Three. <laughs> um, inside of the cottage that they're pounding on, you hear a, a, a character voiced by Cody say something. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, health department people, there are no muffin mans here. We don't believe you. We know you're hiding him. Oh no, my, my voice completely changed. Uh, <laughs> it's the other guy. If you don't open up and give us that muffin man, we're gonna bust this door down and cave your head in. I, Frankie, we will. This is harassment. <laughs> this is <laughs> unacceptable. Uh, Crow in pantaloons and puss in rain boots. You both hear this. Do you want to do anything? Let's see. Uh, hey, pal, I'm pretty sure I just saw the Muffin Man running that way. All right. Are you talking to one of them? I'm continuing oh, walking with Spoonie. Like... Oh, yeah, that's right. Spoonie said not to do that. <laughs> I'll let so you take it back. That. I'll let you take it back this one time. Okay. Yes. You, uh... You keep walking, and behind you, you hear the door smash in, and and the the screaming of of an innocent person, Cody. No, my weapons! <laughs> <laughs> I just made them. Uh, as you continue to walk, you see a what appears to be some a tr super attractive young blonde, uh, singing with birds twirling about her, Cody. <laughs> Damn. Pretty good. Uh, she's Clever. clearly she's kind of in your way a little bit. Would would you all like to do anything? Hello, travelers. Gymnastics around her. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! Hello, would you like to go on an adventure with me? I want to gymnastics around her with my cat reflexes. A kitty. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, um, no. Hello, my little <laughs> oh, uh, Cody. <laughs> Fuck death, this shit. <laughs> death card. Oh. Okay. Death card. Oh yeah. no! It's Freddy oh. again, but he has his hat now because Clay gave oh, him a hat. Oh no! Uh, right. So, puss in rain boots. As you gymnastic around uh, the young princess. Uh, you start to feel kind of drowsy. Um, like you're, like you're suddenly your 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 eyelids are feeling very heavy, and your 
body isn't quite responding to you the way it normally does. It feels rather sluggish. And in the faint distance, you think you can hear the sound of a child singing? Have I heard this before? But you can't quite make out what it is just yet. Sure. We'll go we'll go with that. I don't know. So he looks like he's falling asleep. Uh not just you don't okay. notice this. You don't notice right. this crow and pantaloon. Uh but what would you like to do in response to the attractive young lady singing around with birds in her hair or whatever <laughs> the hell? Oh hello, another bird friend. Would you like to go on an adventure with us? <laughs> Sorry, lady, I'm already on an adventure. <gasps> That's Do you so say that? Exciting. You said that. Okay, Cro- yeah. I see Cro- that. Pantaloons, you said that. Yep. Uh Spoonie slowly turns around to you with a look of terror upon his face. What have you done? Um Yeah, uh, Hang on. Oh, uh, before we continue, Cody, gift card. It's an at 20. Do you want me to just draw for you? (laughs) Why are some of these? I I, want to tell you guys there is a beer warm. Okay. There is a. There is a secret countdown that's been happening since this episode started. And I want to let you know that that Crow and Pantaloon set it off, but the Nat 20 saved it. So I just need <laughs> to let you all know that something has occurred. Uh, Crow and Pantaloons, um, suddenly at your feet, there's a bottle of warm beer for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, you could do with, with that information what you will. Um the birds that were tweeting around the young, hot young lady uh, just dropped dead. <gasps> My friends! Uh, the lady clutches her chest as she and collapses. <laughs> uh, she starts convulsing. Uh, Spoonie is finally able to get his brain to connect to his mouth. He goes, run! Run! And he starts booking it in his little teeny tiny like spoon legs. Like, I mean, he's not very fast. Let's be real. Uh, so you hear and see all of this, uh, Puss in Rain Boots, um, despite your getting, your, your getting sleepy. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to fucking book it. Like, okay. wherever. Pro like... Pantaloon? Yeah. Like, like, like grab the beer and run too. Like, 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 like sword out running. Like, what the okay. fuck's going on? You hear you you both successfully managed to uh, clear the area as you hear horrifying, like the most this terrifying screams of agony and horror that you've ever heard in your life erupt from behind you. Uh, but neither of you ter- are able to turn back and see. Bro, what the fuck did you do while we're running? <laughs> hey, I was just trying to be polite, you know? What can I say? Apparently they're allergic to it. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck's going on, Spoonie? Uh, you guys ran past Spoonie. He had little tiny spoon legs. He's not would... very fast. Oh, I would have guys... pick, picked him up and like. Oh, just carry okay, him. all right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah, I'd have picked him up and like fall, like you tell us which way to go. That was the second try. You just you're not supposed to fall. Like you see a pretty flower in the woods and you just fucking shove your nose in without looking for a bee. What are you doing? Don't you know where we are? Don't you know what you're doing? Uh, no, not really. You ain't explained it that good. <laughs> you didn't ask. I just assumed because of the prophecy and all that stuff that y'all would break this fairy tale curse. You think what? You think I was born a spoon? Do you think my fucking knife dad fucking made a baby fucking spoon? You idiots were all turned into magical fucking creatures and there's a curse. There's a curse you gotta break. Why do you think you're a cat in boots and 
you're pulling Panther loose. None of this makes any sense. Why do I have an accent now? Booney <laughs> um, is just fully horrified, horrified at, at what's happening. You guys need to just keep running. Don't look back. Um, it was anything about looking back. Good. You don't want to. By the way, does anybody else hear singing? Uh, Pro and Pantaloons? I mean, I did, but like, then it turned into horrible screens of death. So... No, like, it's still, like, I still, I hear, still hear, it's like a little girl singing. I don't know why. Oh, that probably means you got a brain tumor, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All this goddamn testing these fuckers been doing on me with a 56k goddamn modem. <clears throat> Uh, as you, you all three are just running for your lives, you see yet another shimmering barrier. What would you like to do? Crow and Pantaloon? Just, I, I'm not stopping, just going through N it. Notorious CIP. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Spoonie, any reason we shouldn't go through this barrier here? You should tell us before a whole genocide happens or some junk. <laughs> no, damn it, just go! <laughs> right you are keep it a moving uh, fall behind you both dive through the barrier and the fairy tale land of horrors that was emerging from behind you just vanishes uh, now you are in a cold industrial dark area as you look, get your bearings and look around you like the floor is made of what appears to be metal the walls metal the roof, one guess, metal. Um, but it's all coated in like a weird, like sinew. Uh, Cody, what what are the walls like? They're they look like they're like made of muscle. Yes, they're metal coated with what looks like muscle, mm. baby. The fuck? <laughs> what the? F Fuck is this they, place? And every now and then they 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 like twinge. <sighs> Ooh, that's spooky. Uh, as you're taking this in, uh, puss in rain boots. You see what looks like out of the corner of your eye a shadow of a person, but when you move your head to actually look and focus on it, there's nothing there. Uh, Crow and Pantaloons, you're still holding uh, Spoonie, who is catching his breath. <gasps> oh gosh, that was scary! You guys, you guys don't don't even understand. I had no clue. Uh, what what almost happened to us? Oh, this bad. Oh, but we um, yeah, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get pretty bad. Uh, Man, we. Just... Look, you go on. No, I want to cut you off. Keep going. Finish. Oh, up. I was gonna say go that way. So I, uh, I look in the direction he indicates. Yep, it's basically like one big hallway, and you can yeah, go one way or the other. I will say that the way he pointed is the opposite direction of the shadowy figure that you thought you saw. Uh, okay, let's fucking go. <laughs> okay. So far, uh, this spoon's batting a thousand, honestly. So <laughs> yeah, yeah we, I'm seeing shit now. I've been here a long time. I don't know what you're talking about seeing, but past that J here, baby boy. I think this brain tumor is getting bigger. Fuck me. Man, you got a problem if it's accelerating that fast. Uh, Maybe there's a magic item to, like, get rid of brain tumors in magic land here. Also, is this muscle on the walls? I feel like this is a factor where they <laughs> took the whole idea of bodybuilding way too literally. Um, The walls continue to occasionally twitch, uh, and they get thicker the more... um. The more the, the further you go, basically. Do I do I know about what that do I reckon do I know recognize that song by any chance? So I've I've met him before. I uh, it at first you did not, but the more the the more it comes into focus and the more clearer you start to hear it, the triggering moment is when you hear this. <laughs> Fuckers, keep my ass a fucking wake. You heard that, 
and it sounded like it was right next to you, but there's nothing there. The hair stand up on the back of your neck. It's almost like death is out to get you. I slap him immediately. <laughs> Thank God. Wait. If I fall asleep, wake my ass up. Cody, give me a roll for that. <laughs> Five. Uh, I mean, you slap him, but unfortunately, he still hears. Uh, and I do want to notice that, or point out, uh, Spoonie is 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 getting more and more worried as we go along, and he keeps eyeballing uh, the the gift uh, CIP that you've been carrying around. As he does this, you also notice that it has started to move of its own volition, even though you're still carrying it. Wait, like it's it's like rattling, or like it's uh, trying to float through the air. No, no, whatever its contents are. Yeah. It uh, it it feels like something's kind of moving around a little bit in there. Just gonna well, I gotta say. It's, we need to we need to hurry up because uh, this chicken's about to hatch. That's one way to put it. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Um, <laughs> you guys continue uh, down a path and you come into a clear an opening. Uh oh, it's go time. Uh, you come into an opening and you'll see rows and columns and rows and columns. Just above a dense fog are eggs as far as the eye can see, but they're not any kind of eggs. Uh, Cody, give me a roll. Eight. Uh, Notorious CIP, you do not recognize what kind of eggs these are, but Clay, Puss in Rain Boots, you recognize them immediately as the eggs from Alien. Uh -huh. Damn it, it's a fucking xenomorph queen. You do see uh, in the distance, there's one pedestal where there should be one egg, but there's nothing there. What would anybody like to do at this point? See, I mean, put the, put the box on the pedestal. Hey, I was going to say that. Put that, you see that box? You got to take out the thing in there and you put it on the thing. And hopefully it'll appease the queen, and then she'll change us back into regular people. I've got, I've got, I've, I've got an, I've got a uh, sleepy fucker to deal with. Pull out my sword. That sounds like <laughs> a really personal thing, and I don't want to kink shame you, so you do you, brother. All right. Well, you know, I'm. Uh, all I gotta say is, this queen, you're saying hopefully. I mean, we got a message. She better, she better, you know. Man up and give us what we are rewarded. I'm just saying, but I will gladly do it. And I slap, uh, slap Puss in Boots one more time <laughs> before I go. Give me Thank a you. 19. Give, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> the slap works to snap him out of it. You, you are focused again, uh, Puss in Rain Boots. Uh, okay. what, what exactly were you planning to do? I don't know. I was gonna go to fucking battle. <laughs> You're yeah. so. Are you are you going in like a direction? Are you going towards something? Like I'm just. I'm. You gotta. Get no. I, I was. I, I was. I was essentially going to pull like a Freddy versus Jason and like essentially to try to drag his ass back into our world. Okay. Him. <laughs> well, in order to do that, you would have to fall asleep, engage with him. And then something in the real world would have to wake you up so that you could pull him into the real world. CIP, I got an idea. <laughs> well, what kind of idea is this? Because, like, I mean, I was just told that, you know, the goalpost is right there. I'd like to go and get the winning. Yeah, you, do, 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 do that. We'll do this later. All right. Um, I mean, mm. so I still have that bottle that I wanted to keep from earlier. Yeah, you, you have a warm beer for sure. Well, also the bottle that the message was in. Oh yes, you also have that. Correct. Excellent. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fly the box over there. Uh, Cody. Yeah, you. So you pick up the box in your little talons and you fly 
to towards the the pedestal um when you get literally like three wing beats away from the pedestal the box falls from your grip um it's almost like it just was moving so much um and it, it could be because it was so excited to be home it could be something else but it's it falls and it doesn't make it uh and i will also point out that as you've gotten closer to the said pedestal you start hearing a deep breathing um it is very scary What would you like to do, CIP? Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up the box and uh, dust it off a little bit. All right. Before you do that, uh, play Puss in Rain Boots. What are you doing? I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck would you fly it over there? Why did you not just carry it?" I'm gonna run over there and like pick up the box. <sighs> Uh, you successfully pick up the box, make it all the way to the pedestal. Do you you putting you putting it on there, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm backing I, the fuck off, like immediately, <laughs> just poof, poof, and back back flipping off, like. As you place the egg down, the like enormous, massive, giant queen alien is hovering over you. Keep in mind, it's a dark room. She was there the whole time just watching you guys, and as she just... she just appears. Like, she just moves, and suddenly with her moving, you realize, oh shit, she was standing right there the whole time, just kind of leering over us. Um, she looks at the egg, and then at you, and then back to the egg, and then... She looks at you again, and she nods. Uh, Pro and Pantaloons, what would you like to do? See, no harm, no foul. Uh, hey, it's funny, because I'm a bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I get it. Uh, the queen looks at you, and she nods as well. Uh, she looks at Spoony, and... Uh, she snarls. Um, Spoonie has worked his way free from you, CIP, and has dove uh, off of you towards the egg. Um, unbeknownst to y'all, but Spoonie was a secret um, arms dealer for the Utani Corporation <laughs> and has been after these eggs to use for uh, futuristic military warfare for many uh, years. Uh, he lands on the egg that you've been carrying, and he goes, "Now I got the egg, and I got the queen! And he presses a little button on his indicator, uh, but then he realizes he doesn't have an indicator, because he was turned into a spoon. Ah, oh, shit! And as I... soon as he says that, the alien queen just snacks down on him, just... <laughs> And oh, Spoonie. he was so shiny, though. Like, and Spoonie is gone. I knew I didn't like that little fucker. Oh, people! That wasn't exactly a big brain play, I mean, you know. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, the queen looks at both of you, and she, from one of her many forearms, lifts up what appears to be a branch, and she does, like, a little shaking motion. And you both kind of wiggle and wobble and wobble and wibble, and suddenly you're human again. Do I uh, recognize uh, P.I.C.? Bippity to you. Yeah, you recognize him as Nick. Yeah, but like Nick! greasy, <laughs> but greasier, and like he looks, you know, kind of like uh, a guy who would have been covered, a crow previous. <laughs> covered in like, like you just look like you got uh, done with a pillow fight, Nick. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, and Nick. Then, but I will mention that you're also only wearing pantaloons, and uh, Clay, you're only wearing rain boots. Oh, God. <laughs> Nick, we can get out of here! Where's the fucking watch? As you say that... I don't that, even know what you're talking about. As you say that, the world around you distorts and fades away. Uh, you both are back in your tubes. God um, damn it. <laughs> and Clay, from outside of yours, you can just kind of 
see two blurry figures in lab coats talking to each other. Ah, oh, Cody. Um, I didn't expect the queen to like be some kind of Harry Potter fucking wizard, but yeah, that's why we <laughs> that's why we run these simulations. <clears throat> I mean, so when are you all going to upgrade from three from uh, Windows three point You don't say that, you can't. <laughs> Cody. Uh, well, I mean, when we were trying to decide what the the big bad of the simulation was, we just threw a bunch of darts at a dartboard, and Xenomorph I'm, Wizard is what we I'm, got. I'm sorry that uh, I didn't have Death Wolf ready in time, but next week, there's always next week. But this was the the week that we needed Death Wolf for. Eh, no, well, I mean, it, it, we finally got resolution on the alien egg. Mm. Uh, play as you overhear that, you can't help but also, uh, as that kind of fades away in your, um, what you might call it, fades away in your, what you can hear. Your hearing is then dominated by this. Right. <laughs> and folks, that's going to do it for Let's Die. Uh, tune in next time to see what happens. Um, Woo! Hope everyone enjoyed it. Follow Clay at TTV slash Clayton. That's twitch.tv slash Clayton. Or check out his podcast, Part of the Pod Dog Production, folks. Watchers of the stuff. Uh, check out Nick and, and, all, and all the websites on in the description below. Uh, DeviantArt.com slash 4RealDeal, 4-R-L-E-E-A-L. Mm. Did I get that right? Uh, T-H, 4RealDeal. The Damn for it. real deal. Damn <laughs> it, I was so, so close. close. There, uh, are, he, there are no other for real deals that I'm aware of, I should say. I don't. He's also got a Patreon and a Facebook page and uh, Instagram and all that fun stuff. And you'll find the you'll find the links to all that stuff in the description below. Uh, and if you would like to purchase an Intel Pentium 4 530 <laughs> i1 core processor, ATI Radeon X364 <laughs> megabyte, 325 me megahertz core clock, bad motherboard voltage, so runs around 150 megahertz, worse than integrated, 40 gigabyte HDD unknown RTM, and the cache still looking, 128 megabytes of 133 megahertz DDR RAM. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then uh, use our promo code, uh, kill me now on Amazon.com <laughs> and on. Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> Follow Cody Mathis <laughs> at Cody Mathis on Twitter at Lunar uh, Lunar Lunar on Instagram. Lunar Cody. Oh, Instagram is uh, Hiking Beagle. Hiking Beagle. I'm sorry. With an e with two e's. Hiking Beagle. That's right. That's right. Oh. Also check her out on the on her other show, The Harvest Season, and occasionally it's super effective. Uh, and and after Dark Rye, a, mm -hmm. a show that I'm also on, she's filling mm. in for Gracie, who's getting married. Uh, Yay! Happy marriage, hey. happy wedding, Gracie. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Um, she got married yesterday when you're listening to this. So uh, congratulations to her. Cody, I will see you on the other side on a Pokemon show called After Dark Rye. And uh, don't forget, if we're going to die... Let's, Let's die, die together. 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 Yeah. Hey, everybody. Gotta work on our. Uh, Every, yeah, I, I just assume everyone's so fucking tired of this show that they're just like, God, <laughs> just, 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 just over it. Just absolutely over it. At so least this, like, we the lost. After credits, or are we done? Oh yeah, no. We're this is the after credits. You can go. No, no. Oh, no I yeah. want to know if they've seen if they've watched the movie. I want to know. Oh yeah. Have, have you all seen Puss in Boots: The Last Wish? All I, all I know about Puss in Boots is the tiny little bit of spoilers I got when I tuned in too early to the well, chat room. Well, you should room. see it. You should it's see good. it for sure. Is it on Disney Plus? No, it's on uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, it's DreamWorks. It's DreamWorks. Oh, so good though, and if you can still see it in the theater. So if if you live in an area where there is a movie theater, it is not a movie you day. need to see in a theater. It's a it is a movie you need to see in a the theater. Excellent, a plus, family friendly animated movie. But it let's be clear, it is not 
Avengers Endgame. It is not. <laughs> so no, the animation, like the, the way one. that the animation style changes throughout the movie, is like amazing. In the so, theater. guess what Sarah went and saw today? And I'm yeah. kind of jealous. This. No, this? she went and the saw show? Cocaine she Bear. Oh, <laughs> oh, I do want to see that. Yeah. No, uh... We talked about that on Watchers. Yeah, we let's did talk do... about that on Watchers. Let's just all get off this podcast and do cocaine right now. Wait, wait. I stopped recording. <laughs> <laughs>